Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for a brand new video the first video of 2022 and this time we've got a restoration of a Dinky Toys J-type van with a postman and a post box as you have a quick look at this going round I'd just like to welcome all friends of the channel and any new friends of the channel welcome, thank you Coming on board. Hope you had a good New Year's Eve celebrations and a New Year's Day. Right, let's get this off the magic roundabout, get it on the bench. We'll see what number it is and we'll have a good look at it. Okay. Okay, just before we start on this one, I just want to give a shout out to uh, a fella I started watching over the Christmas period. I found him, um, I don't know how I found him, but I just... Uh, dropped on him and uh, and I think he's very interesting he's worth a watch so uh, any of you guys want to see a bit different and pop over and see this guy right, he does um, the Maxbox yesteryear restorations there's not many people out there doing these on a regular basis but this is his channel if you can just see that Maxbox yesteryear restorations I think his name's Tone okay and he's, he's got a few in his back catalogue so yeah pop over and have a look see what you think he's only on 21 squabs at the minute Let's see if we can give him a bit of a leg up eh? okay right that being said i've got something else as well um on my last video a couple of people had a their comments were uh, either taken down or removed and i don't know why um I've got a sneaky suspicion that sometimes YouTube, um, somebody out there might be able to correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes YouTube, if there's a key word in, in, in the sentence or whatever, they'll stop it for some reason. And all I get is like the first line or the second line uh, of the comment. I think Jeff, Jeff Ford, that was one of yours. I, I got to read about two lines of it, then it stopped. But I did make out the gist of what you were trying to say. Um... So I apologise for that. And the Fokker, he um, he made a comment and uh, I could only see the first line of that one. So I don't know why YouTube do that. Uh, it's certainly not me. I don't remove any comments at all from anybody. So uh, unless obviously they're pornographic and then they'll have to go. So that being said, so I apologise for that. Um, yes, Jeff, uh, I think you were asking me whether or not I would do a, a beginner's guide on the, uh, what was it now? Yeah, attaching parts like reproduction parts and uh, fixing windscreen pillars and stuff. Yes, I will. Yes, that will be incorporated in the uh, jeweled headlights section. I should do all the guys with jeweled headlights and uh, repair the window pillars and stuff like that. Okay, right. Thanks for your patience. Let's get on with this then. First of all, this is the van. Dinky Toys. Royal Mail, usual made in England. It's number 260. Yeah. Got 15 millimeter smooths on as it would do for this age of vehicle. In the red. You should have the decals on the side there. Which I have got somewhere. I'll put them down somewhere now. You wait. I'll put them down. I'm flipping find them now. But yeah, I've got the decals for at the side there. This has a black painted roof. Silver grill. Silver lights, okay, and some back detail on there. I think there's some back lights, yeah, and some just back to the back lights. Yeah, uh, got the one rivet with a hook at the back there, and standard wheels. So we're going to have to grind them wheels off because they're going through, we're going through there. So that's this one. Then we've got the post box. There is a number for this, but I can't remember what the number is. And it's not stamped anywhere near I can see it. Oh, hang on, it is, yeah, tell a lie. Number seven. There you go, that's small, isn't it? 760, but look like it. You know, quickly, yeah, seven, 760. Yeah, on the back there. Dinky Toys, 760. So that's on the back of there. So that's that one. I think this is the early one because the later one I did has got a, got the post on a sign on the very top. 
I tell you, it's, you look at that, that's quite well detailed, you know. Got the ER and the badge on there, little square there, a little box in that. It's hollow. So yeah, that's quite that's quite well detailed that. Quite like that. And then there's the there's there's posty. I can't see anything. Don't think there's anything written on the bottom of there. Good size figure if you look scale wise to the van door. Yeah, and that's pretty good, isn't it? So we've got these three to do. Yeah. Alrighty. Obviously, we won't do anything for those two. Start off, we've got to drill the base out of this. Drill the base out. Then get these off of here. Catch you in a minute. That didn't take long, did it? Just a single. Rear it up there. Just took the mushroom off. And pulled the plate out. There, there's the plate. And that plate is so close to the front there, if you notice way it's there it doesn't actually go fully around it's uh cut out so it sits like that and the rivet, rivet pinches it in place or the post pinches it in place so that's that there's no glass no interior in here so that's ready for the strip r so is this i did the uh groundy axles off and just time i used my dremel with my thingy bob and just went around like that i left the tires on because I can hold the tyre, like, you know, as it's hold the tyre back with the fingers and more room and just go around like this, as you do. A bit quicker than using the file, but if you haven't got a Dremel, then that's fine. <laughs> You've got this one in, this one's a bit tight. i take enough off. Hold on, let me just reset that on again. Just go around. Let me go around. Do the noise when I hang it up, that's it. That's them, that's them. That's, that. that's how we do it anyway. Take that off. Tyres, these are pretty good on here. That's a good tyre, we'll be using that again. Give them a clean up. That's another one. And like you see, look at that. If you look there closely, slightly different profile. One's slightly wider than the other. <coughs> another one's a good one we can use. This one has obviously got a bit warm. It's got a flat, so that's obviously going to be no good. Oh, dear. Gonna be a time, won't it? Yeah, it's obviously got a bit hot that has from somewhere. Okay, so there we go. That time I can go in the bin. Found the decals. I'd moved them. So I put them somewhere safe, you know what I mean? There's the decals. There. Go on there. Just about fit on now. There you go. Right, so let's get caustic soda. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to put this in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in a caustic soda as normal with the boiling water. Once it's got this main fizz out of the way, it's cooled down slightly, I'll put this in and I'll put him in. Just in case. I think it'd be all right, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to come out half a man or come out legless or without an head, do I? So there we go. I'll get these wheels in. So it's caustic soda time. Okay then, caustic soda time. Get the fan on. Kettle's just boiled. Get some hot water in here. More in the rinsing tray. Part bottle here, we'll use a bit of this up first. <laughs> there weren't much in there, I thought there was more than that. Round two. Fizz 
going on there. We'll just leave that for a second or two. the tidy out here, I'm getting a bit of a, the old shed's getting a bit of a mess, oh yeah look at that, look, I didn't scrub that, a little black on the top there, oh yeah, look at that, can't go wrong with that can you, cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so we're good to go. I'll see you at the cleaning. At the caustic now, as you can see, cleaned up pretty good. The odd spot of red on there. The other day when I was uh, doing the cleaning video, I did actually leave something out which you could use for cleaning, apart from the wire brushes and the Dremel, and that's the wire wall. Somebody did remind me in the comments, thank you very much. Steel wool, extra fine. Yeah, big bag of that, and it costs, I don't know, not much at all. So you can use steel wool, or you can use some of these Scotch Brights pads. What's that got on it? It's got another bit of steel wool stuck on that's a bit rougher, that one. Yeah, so you can use either of those. The thing with the um, wire, the steel wool, or the wire wool, whatever you like to call it, is that it can be very messy so it works no problem don't get me wrong it works i did forget to mention it actually and uh, septic calling reminded me of it thank you and uh, so i thought i'd just give you a quick demo right now it does work there you go but the thing is it leaves quite a bit of a mess on your bench because it it crumbles you know so you can use that my apologies for not mentioning it at the beginning so there you go you can use a steel wool it's good good for i would say for doing these I've, i'll probably use a steel wool on this actually because it's got so many folds and bits and bobs going on his his uniform and his bag and that it will be handy for that. So I'll just give him a bit of a shine up, mate. Around the back of his neck. And you wash your neck, boy. Get behind your ears. There you go. There you go. Eric. Come on, Eric. Eric the postman. Not Ernie. Eric, Eric and Ernie. Yeah, you see, it just it's starting to break down. I can grab a bit more. You got a massive amount in your hands. So that's it. They all do. Quick check for cars. Yeah, I think between his legs, he could do with a bit of a rub between his legs. Don't get that the wrong way, people, please. I know it doesn't sound very nice, actually. I'm thinking about that. Get some of that out and let's drop that. Get a bit of it. A bit of a bass better. A bit better. Yeah, so that's your man there. 
your post box come up nice and clean. I think we're going to get rid of that casting line along there. We can do that with the file. Rub that along there like I showed you. Get rid of that. Virtually gone now. Yeah, you just see the faint line of it. It's not proud anymore, so they'll paint to cover that. So we carry on doing that. Carry on doing this. So you can use a wire wool or the Scotch Bright pads. They'll work just as well. So that's two more things. There you go. Alrighty, I'm going to get this cleaned up. Get these two cleaned up. And then we'll uh, get some primer on it. That's all the grey primer in done. Got your man. He's all priming up. I think I'm going to paint him by hand, actually. That one, I think was, that's best. For this one is the old uh, posty box. I'll post that. Do that one. By hand. No, I'm going to spray that one. Idiot. Not by hand. And here we go. Now, I've been looking at Google Images on these things. On the post office version of these anyway. And it has black wheel arches. It's a painted red grill, but the surround is chrome. So we're going with that. And the roof, most of them I've seen are all painted red. So we're going to do the wheel arches. And the actual hubs are black as well, with a chrome hubcap. So we're going to go with that. So I'm going to get some black on here now, round there, round there, and the arches. Okay. Let that dry. Obviously get the black on the bottom of there as well. Let that dry off overnight and then I can mask it up tomorrow and paint red. Okay, that's the uh, black painted. And uh, I masked up the wheel arches. I didn't do it on the camera because it was... Anybody knows about masking. It's blimmin' hard work trying to get this right and concentrating with the camera in front of you. So, yeah, I used different sizes of tapes I've got here. These aren't the best of quality, I must admit. I got them off, uh, off the internet and they, they're they not great. Uh, I need to get some more Tamiya. But this frog is all right. This frog sensitive tape, I use that. That's quite good. Yeah, so basically a piece on there. A couple of thin pieces on there. Blank it off, blanked off the back wheel arches, but I went underneath with them ones. So that should be good enough. I'm not going to do the black roof. I uh, opted against that. I know Dinky did a black roof, uh, but I'm going to do um, do it red. I've seen some Google images, and they've got black wheel arches, black wheel hubs, and just a chrome surround around there. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, I've done the post box. That's masked off now. So we're going to go over and paint the red. Right, here we go then. Do the inside first. Hopefully you can see this. Just light coat on the inside just to check out your colour and everything. And a light coat on the outside. Just to get a colour. Sorry about that chaps, we've got flying kitchen towel. Just make 
sure you cover everything first coat, just a, a light coat that is. Yeah, that's your light coat. And I'll go back in with it. This is uh, Volkswagen Mars Red. So what I'm going to do then is let this tack off and I'll go in with a second coat. That's all the painting and lacquering done. Done the wheel arches. Mind I struggled with some of this. I had to touch it in because it's a bit tight. Get the tape round there and I did struggle. I had to touch some black in there. I've done the black at the back of the headlights, headlight bulbs. Uh, bowls, shall I say, because they were black at the back there. So now I've got some detail painting to do. We're only going to do, like I said, is you're going to do around that grill, door handles and lights, chrome bumper, do that, the post box, paint it up, we're going to put a bit of white in there, in that square there, okay, so that's okay, and then we've got the man painted, this newest blue I could get to what it wanted, so we're going to Paint his face and do his bag and do his shoes. They should be good to go. Okay, I've done the base There's, and I've done the black hubs. There you go. New tires on. So that's it. And she's a road there. Alrighty then. Gig lamps down brush i'm using a triple zero this time i'm going to try a triple zero like as always i'm not going to do it all i've got a new pot of paint this is the uh, metal coat aluminium that i use it's not a metallic so here we go let's do let's do the headlights first get them out of the way Nice and gently. There we go. It's a bit cooler in the shed today. I've just come up here and it's uh, evening time. Six o'clock. I just went in the shed to warm up a bit. It's still a bit cold. There we go. Weren't massive headlights in these things. Going right the way around there. Because I painted the back, I've got to do the sides here. Take your time. <sighs> Here we go. Lovely jubbly. In the sniper mode. I hope everybody had a good New Year celebrations. And my missus asked me the other day, she said, did you make a New Year's res resolution? And it's quite frankly, I said, no, I didn't actually. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it. Well, that's one. Coming on nice there. I'll give you a change of pace and I'll just do the bumper. No, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, what time we got? We've got four minutes, so I'll just try and do this outside here. Gently does it. 
nice and steady. Go around there. Not the easiest thing to do this, is it? I was going to scrape this. But looking at it, these radiator fins are a bit close. So I opted out not to do that. you got to know when to scrape. That reach up. Down there. Oops, got over a bit there. Get off with a bit of thinners in a minute. Can't help it sometimes. It happens. this is a very fine line right you get the general idea see I've gone over a little bit on that side but I'll just get that with a toothpick and a bit of thinners on it and we'll be good to go all right we're going to carry on doing this so it's just basically finished that half there, that bumper, uh, the door handles, fuel cap. And that's it really. Alrighty then. All the details are painted eventually. And I've got the decals on the side. Now they were straightforward decals, nothing special about that. Easy enough done. So here's your front grill, your lights. Bumper, doors, fuel cap. Okay. There's your wheels. Now I've done your postman. I've not gone over the top with him because he hasn't got a lot of detail on him anyway. His face is virtually obliterated. There was not a lot of moulding on that. So we've done that. Got his satchel, black peak hands, black shoes, and I did a grey base, and the post box, I put the white piece in there, which is obviously had the times and dates and stuff on it, and I've done the gold ER, just a bit of extra bling on it, so that's all good to go, see that there, or whatever, yeah, right, just going to put the base on now. Upside down, as you know, it hooks underneath the back there. You can see it. Hooks underneath like that. Bit of super duper in, as always. Come on, mate. There you come. There you go. Super duper. Get the rivet out in there. Right. And that is out of it done. Right. The reason I've done that quickly is because I've got something else to show you. All right. So we're going to put that over there for now. Okay. And I want to clear this junk off here because there's something else I want to show you let me just clear this out out of the way right what I'm doing here is a diorama for it a small miniature diorama these are what I call my coaster builds 
I do them on a coaster, coffee coaster. Um, in fact, I thought I had a batch of them, but I hadn't, and I'd run out. So I actually use thin cork ones, which are these ones. You get thin, straightforward cork ones. I normally use the thicker ones, so I like to put some plastic on the bottom. Uh, for this one, I've done a corner here. It's not finished yet. I've got to finish it off. Uh, that's just painted black with a bit of grey on it as well. Mix a bit of grey primer. Shot over over with a bit of black. And I put extra bit of cork on to raise the edge up for the curb stones. There. Okay. It's quite simple to do, actually. And here, as you can see, I've, I haven't done a back bit purposely to show you. It's Lego. I did a little Lego wall up. Okay. And I put some cake coping stones on the top and some brick card on the outside now that'll go something like that okay i've got a finished paving slab at first now the card the brick card you can get that from this is modern railway stuff but when i was doing modern railways and that and the card buildings and this sort of stuff come with it you can buy it brick paper this is double o scale so it's not exactly what it should be but it looks okay you can buy it in paper, or you can buy it in card. You can buy there's paper form there. Okay, we can buy it in card. And you just cut it up with a knife, straight forward. And these are the individual paving slabs. Don't want to stick it back. Just peel them off. Like this. I'm going to show you. I'll give you a demo. Not that one. It's shit. Put them on like this. There you go. So you can put them on there if you want. You can different sizes if you want them. That's so what I'm doing is going to go cover all this. Then put the wall on. And then the post box will go in the corner. Something like that. Okay. And then your van will be parked on the side with your postman. So I need to get on with this. It's going to take me a while to do this. But it's it's straightforward. It's not rocket science. If you've got the stuff like I had, it's handy to have. You know, you can go and get it from a railway shop. It's not perfect. And I've got some a bit of leaching. We'll put it there, make a little bush at the back there to cover that up. So that's it, really. This is what I call a coaster build. Like I say, it's if you've got stuff lying about, you can do it. If you haven't got any of these slab things or can't get any, you can just put uh, a piece of plastic card down and cut grooves in it, paint it grey, and then put a black wash in, and that'll do the same thing. But I'm just using up what I've got handy. So I'm going to finish this off, and then we'll see what it's like on the Magic Roundabout. Okay. So what do you do with this bit of card? I'm going to show you. Bit of card. I've already cut this to size, so I've just been using a bit of Super Duper because it was handy. All right, and it sticks straight away because I hadn't got time to mess about. I need to get it done. Okay. But you can use something like that. And I'll just put that on there. Get it right, boy. Come on, boy. I had it right early on. Get it on there. Job done. Okay. That's it. That's my wall. Right, I'm going to get on and finish this off because time's running out. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys. J-type van. A figure, postman, and a post box. And now we can see how it all ended up. Okay then. Here it is, all finished. Dinky Toys, J-type van, Royal Mail. On its little diorama, postman, postbox, corner of the street. Right, it's not a perfect diorama, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not brilliant. I'm not an expert at doing dioramas. You know, ignore the back of it, obviously. But yeah. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It just sets them off rather than just being individual. 
rather than just been individual pieces. I thought I'd put them all together. Yeah, it just gives you an idea, something different you can do with your die cast. As you can see, done the grill all right. Yeah. Quite nice. Yeah. Okay then. Watch this go around there. The back's a bit scruffy, but you won't see that when it's in the showcase anyway. Here we go. Right, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. And I will see you all next week with something different. Well, say something different. It's just different restoration. Not 100% sure yet what it's going to be. We'll have a look. Okay then. Bye for now. Take care, everybody. Look after yourselves. And above all, enjoy yourselves. See you later. Bye.